Hey Techheads, this is Josh with Techtopia TV and today I'm going to teach you how to get better audio for your YouTube videos. So stick around. Alright, so everybody starts off new on YouTube with very limited resources. Uh, I mean, some people obviously just go right in gung-ho. Uh, but most people, they start off very, very limited on the things that they can use. So right now, as you can tell, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that my audio is a little bit weird this time. And that's because I'm using the microphone on the camera itself. So obviously you can tell that it's very echoey, a lot of reverb in it, it's not as full sounding and all of that, right? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because if you scoot forward and get a little bit closer and more intimate with your camera, the audio will be a little bit better. So if you wanted to do a video where you were just showing some tabletop things, maybe a cell phone review or a case review or something like that, you could get away with using the microphone on the camera for quite a while really, if not the entire time. But for me, audio seems to be more important than video. You can use a webcam, like a Logitech C920, and you can get away with that on YouTube video for quite some time. Um, I actually know quite a few people that still use them today, and they have quite a, quite a massive following and a lot of videos on their channel. So you can get away with using a simple webcam for quite a while, but audio is very, very key, because if you're trying to teach somebody something, they're hearing everything that you say. I don't know if you've seen some of those tech or tutorial videos where there's no audio and it's just them kind of clicking around on the screen and it's just dead silent. I don't know about you, but those help me none whatsoever. It does not help me at all. So audio to me is pretty important. So whenever I started my channel off, which I mean, I haven't been doing it for very long. It's been about a year now, but I'm definitely not a professional, I will say that, and I definitely don't have unlimited resources to just go out and buy the best of the best of the best. So the first thing I did was I picked up a Zoom H1 recorder. Now they have some that are like Tascam has a couple, they have the H4 recorder I believe, maybe even the H5 now, I'm not really 100% sure, but you can pick up one of these things for fairly cheap. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and you can pick up one of these for fairly cheap and they're really nice to have. I mean, they really are, they come in handy. Um, it does have the, 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 the cross pattern microphone to pick up good, um, good stereo audio. I did a, re a review or an unboxing, I guess, of this microphone, so. Um, you can watch that if you really wanted to. Uh, it was one of my very first few videos that I made, so I was not as, um, I guess, I'm not really that smooth now either. So, shit, whatever. So anyway, so I picked up one of these. Now, um, the audio that you're going to hear now is from the Zoom H1. Now, I'm holding it close to my mouth because the settings that I have it set for are for my uh, microphone, my external microphone that I'll plug in in a minute. So I'm kind of talking into it. I don't even know what the levels are like. This probably sounds horrible. I'm not sure. But I just wanted you to be able to hear the difference between just having the onboard camera microphone and having a external recorder recording your voice. So right now you are hearing the Zoom H1 on its own. I'm hand, uh, holding it by hand. If you wanted to, you could, it has a screw, oh, sorry, it has a screw port on the bottom where you can actually put it on a tripod. So if you had like a really small tripod, you could put it on the table right next to you. If you were do, showing like a, I don't know, if you're doing some, Magic the Gathering game or something or anything that requires you to be like on the table where you're not going to be moving around a lot. You could use this microphone and get away with it and um, with some a little bit of fine tuning and everything, it, it's, it can sound pretty decent and it's not bad. 
Now the one awesome thing about this is like I said in a little while ago is it does have an inline port. So it has an input for an inline microphone. So you can plug in an external microphone with a three and a half millimeter jack. Now this is helpful because you can get a another microphone that is way better than this one and way better than that one and you can get some really good sound and it doesn't cost that much i think this is probably i i, I want to say it was somewhere around 80 dollars. so i mean it was a little bit to to spend at the beginning but it's not that bad so then i went out and i was watching a couple reviews on some microphones and i wasn't sure about that i really wanted to go with a shotgun mic which you know oops which is one of those ones where I'm sure you've seen. It's like a little stick, basically, a microphone that you can put up above you. It points down at your head. It's what they use in TVs that you see those little fuzzy, you know, dead cat things on it. And it can point right at your source. So if you had it up, you could have it up and pointing right at you, and it's going to have a small cone where it picks up audio. It's not um, very broad, so it won't pick up stuff behind it or beside it. I mean, you have to point it, you know, directly at the target that you want to record, which is good because it doesn't pick up extra crap, which this thing does and that does. So you got to be careful about that kind of thing. So now if you wanted to step it up one more notch after this without spending too much, because I believe the this is the JK Mic J, the lavalier mic. It's a mono mic. It's not stereo. So it takes a couple more seconds of your editing time to go into Audacity or Premiere or whatever and basically just duplicate the left channel track into a right channel track, track and then create a stereo track from that and then you're good. That's all it takes. I mean, it literally takes me 5, 10, 15 seconds to do that and um, in Audacity. That's how I do it and then you get the, the stereo audio from this mic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug this microphone in. All right, it should be working now. So now you can hear the difference. Now I'm recording straight into the, mic, the JK Mic J lavalier mic. Now this thing is beautiful because you don't have any wires, you don't have to hold anything. Um, I have it run down behind my shirt and then I have it come up and it's plugged into the Zoom H1. So now I can talk, move around. I mean, obviously if I move my head way away from the mic, it gets a little bit quieter, it gets a little bit quieter, but as long as you're within range of it, you can hear. And, you know, I've experimented, obviously the shirt that I'm wearing now doesn't have a, it's not a button up. Now I've experienced that if I button it or clip it down a little bit lower, or if I have a button up nice fancy shirt and you clip it out here on the collar, which is where they usually do it for like TV shows or like uh, interviews and stuff like that. Um, like say like on Jimmy Fallon's show, they usually have the microphones clipped up here or somewhere. And those microphones are way better than this one. I think this one here was like maybe $20. Um, and this was probably the best investment I made so far out of all the stuff on my channel, to be quite honest. Uh, it, the audio is so much better. It, <clears throat> you have more mids, you have more bass, you have all that stuff. So you can really make it sound good. And like I said at the beginning, good audio is important. You definitely wanna make sure you have good audio. So, it wasn't too bad, maybe a hundred bucks or whatever. You can step up to a Zoom H1 recorder and a JK Mic J or another type of lavalier mic, like maybe a Rode, Rode Lav, I think is what it's called. But there's a bunch of different ones. I mean, of course, just like anything else, you go with a cheap one and it's not, you know, it, it sounds good. I'm happy with this microphone for $20. I mean, holy crap. But just like anything else, you can go all the way up to five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar mics. You know, I'd love to get a wireless Sennheiser mic, you know, a lav mic or whatever, because that would be really easy because then I can just send it back to my camera and be done with it um, and record it all in one go rather than having to mess with multiple different sources and, and audios or um, different devices and all that kind of stuff. But I just, I don't have the funds right now. So maybe eventually, but for the beginner, who's really just starting to try to start out on YouTube, you got a little bit more into it and you want to step up your game just to that next level um, without breaking the bank, this is a good way of doing it. So this has been Josh with Techtopia TV and I hope this video helped you out and I hope that I can see some people that are grateful for this and we'll be making some better videos with much better audio. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.